What's up guys, Daniel Marquez702 here and welcome back to my playthrough on Fire Emblem Fates Birthright for the Nintendo 3DS. So guys, in the last episode, we actually went through chapter 16 and met up with Flora after not seeing her in, like since chapter 1, I believe, back in Nor. But it turns out, since she was actually disbanded from the fortress that we were living in before, since she's out of there, she's actually living in this other place. I forgot what it was called, but, um, yeah. We actually had Lago come visit us for, you know, something pretty, pretty sinister, if you know what I mean. But ended up kicking his ass anyway, without having too much of a problem, because, you know, no one died on us. That was really cool. I'm very happy about that. But, um, okay, so, is Kagero here? Nope, then I don't want to invite anyone in here. Okay. But yeah, today, guys, we're actually going to be doing our very first Xenolog chapter. So what that is, is pretty much the DLC for this game. And there's actually quite a lot of it so far. Um, we have different ones that just came out recently, like like the uh, boot camp, um, like this museum one, and just a lot of, uh, like a beach one, too, like uh, the one in Awakening. That was really cool. But, um, yeah, guys, the first one uh, that was actually released to us that is actually free that you can download anytime now is actually, uh, let's see, uh, Before Awakening, which is the Fire Emblem Awakening DLC. So I'm very, very excited to be doing this because, you know, we did actually just finish playing Awakening. Not finishing it, but you guys know what I mean. But let's go ahead and get into this, because I am super excited to be doing this. So, uh, okay, so Dragon's Gate. This is where you got all the DLC, whether you're buying stuff or you're um, playing it. So, yes, I know you guys see that, but I actually did play this before because I kind of wanted to get a feel of what it was all about. My first experience, you know, by myself. But, yeah, here we go. We're going to be showing this off, and it's actually pretty easy. Um, nothing too series that we have to work worry about so we're gonna go and do this right now before awakening dude this is gonna be so cool yep the very first xenolog in this game man oh man i'm excited we may have trouble lord cache what's wrong felicia well i was just cleaning up a part of the castle minding my own business i saw a movement in the corner of my eye i think i saw some invisible soldiers hang on you saw invisible soldiers y yes i mean they were completely invisible y Oh, they weren't completely invisible. You know what I mean, my lord. Anyway, I screamed when I saw them, and I, they ran off. Which... Did, did you see in which direction they ran in? I did. I tried to follow them, but they went in a, through a silver of light, a, get, a gateway. Oh, God. I peered inside, but all I could see were trees. I've never lost a, seen a forest like, it, like that. A forest through a gateway of some kind. It didn't feel like any place we've been to. It felt like another world con entirely. If those soldiers went to that world, the people there may be in danger. We need to chase after them. Do you remember where the gate is? Yes. yes, follow me. Oh, God. Oh, man, dude. Yo! Okay, guys, I'll be quiet for a second. Yo, the Awakening Hub World music. Let's do this. We made it safely through the gate, but where are we? I haven't a clue. Hmm, what are we going to do now? Oh, it looks like there's a sign over there. It's legible, too. Paladin of Yelise? <laughs> Yo! Oh! Crumb! Crumb! Hey, do you need help? Yikes! Yo, Crumb! My boy! My nigga Crumb! My nigga Crumb! Forgive me, did I startle you? Ugh, startle you? You big- you look a bit lost. I'm sorry, I'm getting way- I get way too excited and then I can't read. Lord, I don't believe we've ever seen these people before. <gasps> Lissa! Lissa and Fred Dick. Lissa and Fred Dick. They're back here too. Oh, travelers then? That would explain... Oh, fuck, I didn't... I did not wait. I'm um, sorry, but who are you? Ah, I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Krom. I'm Captain of the Shepherds. The delicate one here is my little sister, Alyssa. I am not delicate. Delicate? I am not. Ignore my brother, please. He can be a bit thick sometimes. Oh, if in more ways than one. <clears throat> um, over here is my knight, Fred Dick. I serve as his... Uh, I serve has, as his aide and second in command. See, it's nice to meet you all. My name is Kashe. With me is Felicia. It's nice to make your acquaintance. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. So tell me, Kashe, what brings you here through this area today? The truth is, we're in pursuit of a group. Have you noticed anything strange happening lately? Maybe seen some warriors nearly invisible? I'm sorry, did you say invisible warriors? What? Our Halidom has been invaded? They could have been neighboring Plagia. Oh my god, Plagia. I remember them. We actually just fought them in Awakening too, man. That's crazy. 
For cachet, remember, this must be from another world. We should be, we should do, oh my god, we should do our best not to confuse or panic them if we can avoid it. Oh, right, um, did I say invisible warriors? I meant to say invisible, uh, invisible warthogs. Our prized invisible warthogs got loose. You're not very good at improvising, my lord. There you go, Felicia, tell them the facts. Warthogs? Invisible ones? Yes, they are a very dangerous type of beast in, from our homeland. They're, um, excellent guard animals, but in Left Alone, they can cause a lot of trouble. They can even destroy towns. They are very, very dangerous. Think of the worst wild animal you can... These are much worse. These creatures sound awful. It's best to run away if you can spot one. It, it's too close. Nothing hold back. Hold nothing back when you fight them. Really? Aren't these your beasts? It's not important. It, no, it matters more to us that no one gets hurt in the rampage. We've um traveled very far to make sure everyone stays safe. Uh, all right, <laughs> yo, Crom just freaked the fuck out. Yo, this man's just like, uh. I have to say, I find your behavior very suspicious. What are you up to? Oh, Fred Dick, of course. The common, the common introductions from Fred Dick. He always thinks we're freaking. This story sounds unlikely at best. Oh, of course! He's given us that nice AM702 impressions right there to where he's a douchebag to us in the beginning of the game. Oh, man, that was fun. Just a moment ago, Felicia referred to you as Lord. Perhaps you would be so kind to as to explain why you have such a title. Wow, okay. Well, if he tries to improvise again, we're all doomed. <laughs> that's because my Lord Cachet... That's because my Lord Cachet is a prince. I beg your pardon? What? What? What, are you jealous, Fred Dick? You're not a prince. What? You're a prince? Yes, he is. Felicia. This is surprising. However, it's only right that I tell you that I am a prince as well. You are? <laughs> this boy just got raped. That's what happened. Was that a scream? I think it's from over there. Let's go, Let's go Felicia. It might be the warriors. I mean, warthogs. Let's go. We've got this. Uh, we've got this, my lord. Huh? Cache? We're going too. Lissa, Fred Dick, follow me. Of course. Alright. I think they added some extra sound clips to these characters, actually. If you guys remember that, I mean... It's them! I'm so glad we found them. Wait! Wait, Kashe, we'll join you. Krom? I don't want you to be involved with three... I want... I don't want you three involved with our troubles. It is our duty as defenders of this land to help whenever it's threatened. We'll aid you. Krom. Understood. Thank you. Let's work together to end their rampage. Okay. Yes, let's do this. And now we'll be able to set our units here. Alright, so here we go. As you all can see, though, we are very limited on our units to bring. Only five can actually join us today. So what we're going to be doing is, I guess, just going with this select few. We don't really need to change around anything. This is a pretty basic fight, as you guys can clearly see. But, yeah, this guy... Wow, this is a lot more dangerous than I anticipated but um yeah we have an oni chieftain as the boss and as the invader so we got to be really careful though although it does seem like a pretty easy fight to handle we still got to be careful here so we have two samurai right here and uh an oni savage so we'll probably be able to take him out with kashe or Crom, because we got Crom, freddy d and lissa right here i'm so excited let's just uh let's have a little flashback of what they look like man oh my god i miss them I miss them so much. You guys have no idea how much I miss Awakening, but don't you guys don't you guys worry, man. After Fates, I'm going right back to Awakening so we can finish that game. And then Freddy D, we can't forget about my boy Freddy D. Yes, look at him. Look at him. Oh shit. Look at that. This man can jump now. He's never been able to do that before. And as you guys can see, his silver lance actually has like a little flag on it, so it kind of did update his look from Awakening. And then Lissa, pretty basic. She's just a cleric. But that's okay. You know, Lissa, she's just same old Lissa. Cute Lissa. But, uh, alright. Let's not fool around any longer. Let's get into this. Alright, so there are also... Okay, so there's a spear fighter here. Another Oni Savage. More spear fighters. Alright, so the only problem that we have to worry about is... Okay, so the, not really a problem, per se, but the only classes that we're facing against is... Oh, wait. Every class, actually. So, okay. So we could probably have... We could probably have Hana take out the spear fighters with her, um, with her Naginata. Oh, wait, no, her, um, her brass club. Or Renka, because, you know, she could take them. Speaking of Renka, let's actually put her right over here. And, um, yeah, let's just get right to it. I'm going to save real quick, just in case, I mean, if anything happens. But 
When the first time I played this, I had no troubles at all. It was actually pretty easy, so we should not have a very bad time here. But anyway, let's actually... Oh, I forgot to pair these two up, but we're going to pair them up. And let's actually have them uh, talk to Krom for now. Let's just see the dialogue. Thank you for supporting us, Krom. It's encouraging to have allies here. I should be thanking you for warning us about this danger. Kashe, can I ask you something? You're a prince, correct? More or less. As I mentioned before, I am royalty as well. What? Really? I wasn't sure you heard correctly either. I'm part of the Haladum of Elise. But isn't it dangerous for you to be out doing patrols? Perhaps, but no more dangerous than you chasing beasts in unfamiliar forest. Ha, <laughs> fair enough. Speaking of unfamiliar, where do you come from, Kashe? I know royal families from many neighboring kingdoms, but I've never heard of you. I doubt you've heard of my lands, actually. Hoshido and Nor are actually likely to appear on your maps. Did you just say Hoshido and Nor? The mythical kingdoms? Ha? Huh? Mythical? I doubt there are many people who haven't heard a story about Hoshido and Nor. I don't. I'm not sure how to respond. You don't have to explain things to me if you'd rather not. I won't pry into your affairs. After all, we are going to have to trust each other if we're going to get through this. He is very trusting. Most people wouldn't accept a claim of royal heritage without proof, and he and I share faith in others, I guess. But what did he mean when he called Hoshido and Nor mythical kingdoms? Where are we? We are in the lease, the lease, my boy. That's where we are. All right. Wait, I paired up the wrong people. I paired up Hana and... Oh, shit, wait. Um... Ah, oh, damn it, okay. I accidentally paired up Felicia. I mean, not Felicia, freaking... Freaking Hana with Kashe instead. Ah, that was, that was an accident. Alright, but let's get things underway. Let's have Silas do some damage right now. Actually, wait, that wouldn't kill him. Should we have Rinka... No, let's just uh, wait here for now, because I don't really think it's that necessary. Let's just wait. Let's go. I'm pretty excited right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, no damage. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Look at that. Dude, ever since Rinka became an Oni uh, chieftain? God damn, she's been getting strong. She's really turned into a tank. For real. Alright, one damage. That's... Wow, she, he missed. Yeah, Rinka! Rinka! Mm, come on! Ah! Ah! Yes! Get out of here, dude. God damn. Rinka's in here right now. Alright, and... Ooh, my boy Silas has the advantage. Okay, I see you, Silas. I said Silas. Get out of here. Alright. And Rinka pulling through. Let's go. I see the hype in here. And reinforcements. Why am I not surprised? Krom? Krom stepping in. Krom? Strange beasts indeed. I can see... I can sense something that is in front of me, but I can hardly see it. Prepare yourself, creature. I will not permit you to threaten this land. There you go, Krom. There you go. Pick up that goddamn Falchion. Chop this boy up. Alrighty then. Krom's getting in here. Dude, it looks so much cooler with the Fates uh, animations, like the entering battle and stuff, and then exiting out. It's so cool now. I've never encountered anything like these creatures before. Oddly, they seem more human than animal, though. Oh, wow, no shit. No matter. I will not let you harm my lord or my lady. Exalt Emerin would never forgive me if something happened to them. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Emerin. Yep, she's dead now. But you guys can obviously tell that this is actually before everything happened. You know, with King Gangrel and him capturing Emerin and all that stuff. So this is way before that time period. And this also means that this is before the time period of AM702, or Robin, if you guys want to put it that way. But, yeah, this is way before that time, you know, where they had a war against Plague and all that. How are you holding up, Lissa? I'm sorry that you got pulled into this mess. Don't worry about me. I'm just fine. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to fight by... So oh, wait. F fight side by side with someone like you. Aw, that's cute. We don't have anyone in the Shepherds beside my brother who can lead like you. Ha, <laughs> you flatter me. Hey, I really mean it. Say, Kashe, when we're done here, it'd be great if you joined us. If only, Lissa, if only. I appreciate the offer, but I have some important things waiting back home. I'm not surprised. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. You are a prince after all. I'm sure you're busy running your kingdom and stuff. Something like that. Thanks for inviting me, though. If fate had brought us together at another time, I could see myself joining your group. Cache. Never fear, though. I'm sure that you'll meet many new people on your adventures. You really think so? Oh, I think so. Well, if you say so, then I have a feeling it might just happen. Thanks, Kashe. Yeah. Oh, man, you're gonna meet a lot of people. 
Very soon, actually. Alright, but anyway. God damn it. Uh. God damn it. Uh, let's just fucking go right here then. Silas, you're gonna have to. Yeah, block up here. So the best thing for you would probably to equip that steel sword. And then finally. The spear fighter's right there, so we gotta be careful. So we're gonna have that steel club equipped to this with Rinka. Oh no. Oh, this ninja's gonna lower our stats. Shit. God damn it. What the hell? What just happened? Did we just switch? How the hell did that happen? Oh, damn, Rinka. Put it in work. Like, no, nothing else, dude. Like, holy shit. Everyone's attacking Rinka, but... Is this gonna hit me? Yeah, I, I expected so. Alright, Rinka's getting hit, though. Gotta be careful. Oh, shit. Her stats are getting lower, too. God. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, my God, her stats. Oh, my God! What? Zero damage. Okay. Holy shit, dude. Rinka's getting the work put in her. Oh, my God. Everyone's hitting her. Everyone's fucking hitting Rinka. Why, though? Jesus. Why is she getting switched in so many places? Weapon level B. Okay, so that helped us out a little bit. No way. <laughs> no way. Freddy D pulling through. Thank you. Thank you, Freddy. Oh, man. Here we go. Is this man gonna jump right now? No, he's not gonna jump, but okay. Good job, Freddy. Let's go. Dude, I, this feels like the old days right now when we used to play Awakening and having Freddy just freaking destroy everyone. Oh, that was such a fun time. Fun times with Fire, Fire Emblem Awakening, dude. That was fun, dude. Fun times with Awakening. And I'm still gonna get back to it. Don't you guys worry. Still gonna, back to, uh, gonna get back to that awesome game, dude. I said dude like 69 times. Alright. So separate. Put Hana right there. And now, we'll put Kashe there. Alright. Shit. So what would be the advantage against this guy? Alright, so an axe and actually have an advantage against shurikens. Alright, Silas. We got two great knights in here. That's pretty cool. We have two great knights in this fight. Which is pretty damn awesome. Rinka, you need to get the hell out of here, girl. Like, I don't know what you're doing, but... Alright, we have the advantage against these guys. Perfect. Perfect. No way, you just missed. Come on, Rinka. Well, it was a pretty low chance anyway, so... Shit. Alright, speed it up a little bit. Oh, come on, Rinka. You got this, girl. She's still at 26 HP. It's not that bad. Two damage? It's pretty unlikely. It's not gonna happen. Yes, it is. Oh, God. God, dude, she's getting hit in all kinds of places. You're gonna attack Krom? You're not hitting Krom. You're not hitting Krom. Ooh! Jump! Jump, man, jump, man, jump, man. This man's up to something. Ooh. Alright. Okay. God damn it. No, no damage, though. Okay, I like it. I like it from Rinka. Rinka's putting in work right now, and she's about to level up, too. Jesus Christ, dude. When will this stop? Alright, Krom. All right, Krom. I see you. Freddy D. Freddy D. How do you miss? Oh, he's gonna murk this man, though. This man's gonna get the work. Get out. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Fred. Let's go, Fred. Okay. So, finally, let's have... Let's, let's put in some work, guys. All right, so we're gonna... Oh, okay, we're, we're still gonna do the job right now. Kashe's got this, dude. Oh! Yeah! Yes! Oh! Mm, 69! Oh! 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 Ooh, dude! God damn it! Come on! When can this get any better? This game... Freaking Kashe with the fucking critical hit. Let's go, dude! And then Rinka with the level up. Level 3. You might get burned if you get too close, bitch. Bitch. Alright, Hana. What can you do, girl? What can you do? Um, let's equip that nice and powerful brass club. Just so that way you have an advantage. Actually, wait, never mind. We don't even need that. And now Silas will be chopping this dude up. 93%, that's definitely gonna hit. Ooh, look at that strike position. Let's go. Nigga, we made it. 
All right, I gotta stop making all these references, man, because I I just won't be able to calm down. Only speed? I'm clearly not training hard enough. Oh, come on, Silas, don't act like that. God damn it, though, really? Only speed increase? That's crazy. Everyone's gonna try murking our units. Oh, Freddy's stats, they're gonna be lowered soon. Uh-oh. Crom, too. No damage. All right. No damage. Get out of here. God damn it. Wow. Everyone's attacking, huh? Three damage? Oh, you're not even gonna hit. Oh, jeez. Come on, Crom. You could do a lot better than that, my friend. Come on. Don't fuck with me like that. Don't fuck with me like that. Come on, Crom. Chop him up. All right. And then Freddy D's gonna be putting in some work, too. Pretty hard to commentate when you're just fucking watching all this mayhem happen. But still, hmm, a challenge. I love it. Freddy. Freddy's in here. Freddy's in here. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead. And, wow, the Dragonstone really can't do that much anymore, can it? What can Kagiro do? Kagiro has a very high chance of hitting this man. So let's do it then. Let's go, my girl. Yes. Yes. Let's go. And finally. All right. Rat spirit. That sucks. Right now. Not saying that it'll suck forever. God damn it. God damn it, dude. All right, so Silas will put you there, so that way when we go over here, we will have some assistance. So plus 12 damage after that. I love this dual pairing up system, dude. It's so useful. Look at that. Look at that teamwork. Alrighty then. And Hana, let's get you in some action too. So if we were to attack with the... Alright, alright, hold on. So the Brass Club would be our best chance, but... Everything else can't really hit as well. So instead, uh, we'll put you right behind them, I guess. I mean, not really much we can do after that. Crom. Crom. Your stats. Ugh. Oh, God. Why is everyone after Krom now? First it was Rinka, now it's Krom. What the hell is going on? Come on now. Oh, I thought Krom was attacking from afar. That was weird. Damn. <laughs> I thought Krom was being... He'd be like, yo, nigga, you're done. And he'd throw his Falchion. That would have been so good. Dude, that would have been so great. All right, zero damage. We'll take it. All righty then. No damage. And the list is moving. So, um, okay, who can we move? Silas, you go ahead and block up this fort. That'll be useful for you. And then finally, let's have Hana do some damage. So the Brass Club will do 18. And 100%. Let's go! Let's do this. Ooh! Ooh, fancy! Fancy Hana. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I hate when I do that. Just, just completely freaking mess up with my camera. All right, you know what it is. What did I say before? Everything I do, I'm murking niggas. All right. We have the advantage, my friends. Uh, only 30, though. Only 30. That's not enough. Come on, Silas. You can do better than that. Let's go. Come on, Silas. All right, so it looks like there's no more reinforcements. That is good. Let's go, Crom. Ru Crom! Crom! Are you niggering me, Crom? Crom, you're niggering me. Come on. What the hell? Oh, come on. Damn, this guy's a lot of HP. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Ouch. Alright, it's clear that we gotta do something about this. My boys. My boys. Alright, who can get the experience right now? Hana could definitely use that experience. So Silas, pair up. Oh, you can definitely do it, my friend. All right, but as for everyone else, Rat Spirit has the advantage. Only 16? Hell no, nigga. Hell no, what are you talking about? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. I'm in a real singing mood today, aren't I? Switch. Steel Katana. What are we talking about? Only 3 HP left. We'll have Hana finish off this job right now. Because Hana needs some experience. Let's go, Hana. Come on now. Give me that. 
And that is a shit ton of experience right there. Yeah, Freddy, we're not letting you finish off this time. No way. Everyone's attacking Hana, huh? No damage. Get out. Get out! Ooh, fanciness. Fanciness. Damn, and she levels up. Let's go, Hana. Level 4 already? Oh, sorry, level 3. I'm wrong. Okay, then. So there's about one enemy left. Am I right? Alright, so 17 damage. Who's gonna finish off the job, then? No damage. God damn it, Rinka. Come on. F uh, forcing us to do everything else, huh? Okay, that's good. Krom's gonna attack him. Alright, 16 damage. 62%. He's not gonna get hit. Or yes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Freddy, of course. T only 20, though. Okay. I see you. And he misses. Wow. Why is it that everyone's missing? God damn it. So, should we just have... Wait, no, no, no. Ooh, that rat spirit. That could probably do the job, actually. 22 damage. No, actually, no, that would be 20... No, yeah, that would be 22. 22. Alright, then in, the, in that case... Switch. Have my boy Kashe do the job. He's got this. Yeah, Kashe. That's my boy right there. And finally... Oh, yes. That nice spin attack. Yes. Let's go. And that level up is mine. Level four. Wow. Look at that. And that was a big boost. Oh, look at that boost. That big boost. That was insane. And there we go. Stage is complete. And the heroes are Rinka and Silas, actually. There we go. All right. I think that's the last of them. I owe you, Kashe. You and your allies both have my gratitude. Not both. We were the ones who got you involved in that whole mess. Think nothing of it. Really, I'm sorry for putting you and the people in harm's way. We'll do our best to prevent this from happening again. But, um... I wish we could say it'll never happen again, but we can't make that a promise. Fortunately, this is true. Kashe, things may be rough back in your kingdom. Right. Hmm, if only we can offer you something that could help you in this time of need. Perhaps you'd be interested in this. Is this... Are you giving me a, pub, a pebble? Yes, I collect them from my lord and my lady's path so they don't trip. I have a strange feeling that this one may actually help you in some way. Um, thanks. I'll find a way to use it. Lord Kashe, we should start heading home now. Alright. It was nice meeting you, Krom. Lissa, and you f as well, Fred Dick. If you get the chance, come visit us again sometime. I'd like to talk more about our respective kingdoms. I'm sure... I'm sure if you would wish, we'll meet again someday. Just hold fast to your beliefs. I will. I'll look forward to the day our path, paths cross again. Thanks, Grom. I hope to spend time together again someday as well. That's cute. And we got a pebble. And there they go. They were pretty interesting people, weren't they? Indeed. I have a feeling we might see them again sometime. I was thinking the same thing. Kashe was a very talented leader, you know. Oh, man. Liss is crushing on us. I was really impressed by the different battle tactics he used. The Shepherds could really benefit from a talented tactician like that. What do you have in mind, my boy? Unfortunately, battle strategy is not my strength. Yeah, you're much more brawn than brains. I wouldn't go that far. Pardon me, my lord, my lady, but I believe we should get, get on our way. We must make headway farther south before the sun falls. Sorry, let's get going. Hmm? It looks like someone's fainted up ahead. What? What? Huh? You're right. What should we do? We need to offer our help. Hmm, definitely not dead at least. Why would anyone lay down out there? i never seen clothes like these before. Where could... Mom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? I don't know. I see you're awake now. Hey there. There are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. Give me your hand. Oh, oh my god, look at this. Guys, this was the coolest part I found in the actual Xenolog. So let me just explain before I move on. Oh my god, when I saw this, I squealed in my mind because I knew everything that they were saying. So if you guys do remember that little dialogue that we just saw just now, basically what happened was Crom actually just met Robin slash AM702 on the fields, like unconscious, right after we met with Kashe. So think about it. Just think about it in Awakening. So, 
you know, you know when you find yourself on the ground and then Crom with the cutscene and he picks you up and he's like, oh, there's better places to take a grit na- na- nap on the ground, you know. He picks you up and then he helps you out and stuff. Just before that, he finished a battle with my boy Kashe or Corin, you know, however you want to think. So it's so cool to think that, you know, the new game kind of foreshadows a secret event in Awakening when, you know, in reality. So it's really, really cool. Man, I saw when I saw that, I just freaked the hell out. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end off this video as we have actually finally finished um, the first Xenologue in this game or whatever kind of order it is. But um, until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching this first Xenologue episode of the game or my playthrough of the Birthright. Um, if you all did enjoy it and want to keep on seeing more, definitely leave your support and also smash the like button for me. Always means a lot to me. And don't you guys worry, since I have showed off this Xenolog, definitely expect to see a lot more in the future. I'm going to be buying all the DLC, uh, going to be buying Map Pack 1, and hopefully all the other ones that come after that. And then I'll be showing it off um, on camera with you guys. But until then, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome.